In this video, we will show you the economic and financial impact of this pandemic for years to come. For example, what's the overall damage to your retirement? The ASX soared into 2021. The problem is, stocks around the world were already overvalued before the virus. And with superannuation funds on track to make up 60% of the Australian share market, your retirement's now at the mercy of stock market long COVID, more than perhaps any other nation in the world. In 2020, more than $33.5 billion was drained from super accounts under COVID-19 hardship provisions, over 20,000 applications a day since April that year. The save and forget about it mentality is over. People have been reminded it's wealth, your wealth, parked into that giant system and it can be stripped away very quickly and in vast quantities if stock markets turn south. If the initial wave blasted hundreds of billions from the ASX in mere weeks, what will the lasting effects be? How far could stocks fall? How much can you really afford to lose? There is a very clear course of action you can take here based on history. You just need to have the conviction and foresight to do it now. Your real estate interests. Listen to the property press and your real estate investments, residential and commercial, are going to soar in the next few years. As I speak, listings, clearances and prices are all booming. Buyers and sellers are making up for lost time. Federal and state stimulus measures will keep the gravy train rolling. But how long can that really go on? Regulators and policy makers have been using a cocktail of drugs for years to stop prices falling. Interest rate cuts, tax incentives and other measures to boost construction. The froth you're seeing in the property market right now is a direct result of this. The boom will likely be temporary. Like stocks, this is a bubble that in a sane world should have burst well before the virus. What about your business interests? An insolvency tsunami still looms on the horizon. Hundreds of thousands of small businesses still reliant on government support will eventually succumb. Many already have. JobKeeper has largely ended. New bankruptcy laws kicked in at the start of 2021, meaning employers can no longer hibernate in future lockdowns, and future lockdowns are always a possibility. Insolvency safe haven rules no longer exist. If your outstanding debts reach $10,000 this year, the creditors can come knocking. But there are decisions you can make now to ensure you, and, if applicable, your employees and customers, are still there when true normality returns. What happens now to your kids or grandkids? The under 40s are bearing the financial brunt right now, but the really young ones come of age in the long COVID decade. Generation COVID, Gen C as they're called, is the first generation to grow up through a crisis like this since the Second World War. How will it shape them? What are the dangers and opportunities that await them? How can you help them? We've been looking deep into this. There is a saving and investment strategy and mindset your kids and grandkids can adopt now to actually help them prosper in this new world. And if employment is a concern, there are existing industries that should flourish and new ones that will bloom in the post-pandemic era. And then there's your liberty and freedom. We've lived through contact tracing, curfews, mandatory business closures, movement restrictions, and even fines for going to the beach. Yes, the restrictions seem to be past us, but don't get complacent. Freedom is a fragile thing, and the global nanny state is now morphing into something else entirely. It's not kooky or unpatriotic to be wary of this and to take precautions. Finally, your ambitions for wealth expansion. So, is this it? Is the plan for the rest of your investing life just don't lose money? It shouldn't be. Across the world, market fundamentals and common sense have gone out the window. But there are some key things you can count on in the years ahead. Monetary intervention on an epic scale. Debt crises and defaults. And geopolitical instability not seen since the last world war. These conditions can provide spectacular ways to expand wealth if you're nimble and know how to anticipate events. The right stocks went up during the Great Depression. Hugo Stins, a German industrialist, made a fortune during the worst stage of the Weimar hyperinflation in the early 1920s. He borrowed in Reichmarks, 
and bought hard assets. The assets soared in value while the currency collapsed. He then repaid the loans in worthless right marks and kept the assets. Joseph P. Kennedy, father of President John F. Kennedy, made his fortune during the 1929 crash. These cases show that money can be made even in the darkest periods in market history. The same will happen in the decade ahead. You just need to know which stocks. The initial pandemic disruption of 2020 has already created some tantalizing buys for 2021 and beyond. And not just in oversold stocks, whole new avenues for wealth building which never existed before we knew the word COVID are arising. We'll touch on some of those. But the first priority is to shield and protect your hard-won wealth. Once you accomplish this with defensive and lower risk strategies tailored to a post-pandemic climate, then you can feel comfortable making high-risk bets, which can be immensely profitable. For example, there are certain specific countries and stock indexes where your money may work much harder for you this decade than if it was just parked in the ASX. If you're willing to set up an international share account and can tolerate exchange rate risk, you could benefit from gaining exposure to these indexes. One such index is at the top of my team's radar right now. They've also made a short list of eight stocks there that they believe could do spectacularly well in the coming years. And let's say you believe the gold price is going to rise significantly. You're not alone here. The US dollar is likely to struggle to hold its value once the long-term financial and economic damage of COVID-19 is priced in. When the world realizes this, the recent gold bull market could reignite and go to a new level entirely, perhaps lasting for much of this decade. As an Australian investor, you're in a privileged position to take advantage of this over the next five years. I'm not just talking about building a physical gold position or even targeting individual gold mining stocks, which can leverage gold's performance for greater gains or losses. Our team has found you an intriguing way to make the absolute most from gold during the long COVID decade. They've also unearthed an emergent way to restructure your income for the post-pandemic world. One that gives you more freedom and a better chance at a lower cost retirement, even if the stock market crashes. And then a huge financial long COVID symptom will be the government clamoring for more of your tax dollars. As tax revenues fails to recover, Canberra will be desperately chasing new sources. That is pretty much a given. But there are strategies you can put in place now to protect your wealth as the door slams shut behind other taxpayers with cries of fair taxes, tax the rich and inequality. The point is, contrary to how it might feel, you have options. And I'd like to share them with you today. Viruses are enigmatic yet well studied by science. And in just one year, COVID-19 has likely become the most studied virus in history. But there aren't many great minds figuring out how this one in a hundred year pandemic will impact your wealth. I'm pretty sure we're the first in that regard. My name, by the way, is James Woodburn, and I'm the publisher of a remarkable advisory letter called Jim Rickards Strategic Intelligence Australia. For many, Jim Rickards needs no introduction. From aiding the Carter administration as it negotiated the Iran hostage crisis in 1980, to helping the Fed avoid global financial collapse by winding down long-term capital management in the mid-90s, to spearheading counter-terrorism efforts for the CIA after 9-11, to warning the US Treasury of the subprime collapse several years before it happened. For decades, Jim Rickards has been called on to war game what happens next, while all the world seems to be going berserk. As such, there are few on the planet right now better suited to guide you on this topic. So, First and foremost, I'm going to strongly urge you to read Jim's new book. It's his seventh, but without doubt, his most important. Because this really will be the defining topic for the rest of your financial life. And the decisions you make in relation to it now will define the legacy you leave behind. Now that may sound dramatic, but it's the truth. This book 
needs to go right to the top of your reading list. It's called The New Great Depression, Winners and Losers in a Post-Pandemic World. And today, I invite you to claim your personal copy. Its sole purpose is to make sure you're not blindsided by what's to come. You'll know what economic and financial symptoms to expect from here. We even have a bonus chapter written by Nick Hubble, Jim's Australian investment director, explaining how they'll manifest here specifically. This chapter is designed to interpret Jim Rickard's analysis and predictions for Australian readers. It contains some important add-ons from what's in Jim's book, including one relatively obscure but all-encompassing ETF investment that Nick says is unmatched in scope and opportunity for the coming years. The bottom line is, investing can be straightforward, even in times of great uncertainty, if you can foresee the policy response to a crisis. It also helps to be able to anticipate things that most others can't. That's how you really grow and preserve wealth as an investor. This is going to be one heck of a wildcard decade. So the value in getting things right when others never saw it coming is magnified. And Jim Rickards has a proven record of getting many of the big calls right. Most recently, it was the Great Reset. Like the poor, the elites who seek to look after us will always be with us. Their latest attempt to do that, under the guise of COVID-19, is set to take place in Davos, Switzerland in the Northern Hemisphere summer this August. But Jim Rickards saw this coming well before the pandemic. You would have seen it coming too if you'd read his last book, Aftermath, published on the 29th of July, 2019. The world is overdue for a new international monetary conference to implement a true global monetary reset, he wrote six months before the virus escaped from Wuhan. The most pressing question for monetary elites is whether a conference is convened proactively with a view to creating a coherent system or convened reactively in the midst of a new global financial crisis likely to produce a draconian response. Well, here we are. The elites have changed the rules of capitalism in their favour five times in the last 100 years. This year, they're about to do it again at the 51st Davos Conference titled, wait for it, The Great Reset. Just as Jim predicted a year and a half ago, Klaus Schwab, World Economic Forum founder, states, to achieve a better outcome, the world must act jointly and swiftly to revamp all aspects of our societies and economies, from education to social contracts and working conditions. Every country from the United States to China must participate, and every industry from oil and gas to tech must be transformed. In short, we need a great reset of capitalism. Jim's got a lot of stuff right these past 40 years. Rarely, though, has a prediction gone so exactly to script down to the word. This prediction was no fluke. Jim simply has access to the people who've been planning this reset for years. These same connections enabled him to famously predict on television Trump's shock election win in 2016, as well as Brexit. Both these forecasts were made in the face of overwhelming odds for Hillary Clinton and the Remain campaign. Jim was a general counsel for the hedge fund long-term capital management in 1998. Amid a thundering herd of lawyers, he negotiated with 19 other Wall Street banks a $3.6 billion bailout preventing a global financial crisis type event. Not many people know we were mere hours from every market in the world shutting down. The same models and connections Jim is using to map the long COVID decade predicted the actual global financial crisis that followed 10 years later. As Jim says, if you had a list of things that you should have done to prevent crises from happening again, they did the opposite. They let banks act like hedge funds they let everybody trade more derivatives. They allowed more leverage, less regulation, bad models, etc. I was sitting there in 2005, 2006, even earlier saying, this is going to happen again and it's going to be worse. I gave a series of lectures at Northwestern University. 
I was an advisor to the McCain campaign. I advised the US Treasury. I warned everybody I could. Unfortunately, in that instant, no one listened. In March 2008, Bear Stearns failed. In June, July 2008, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac failed, followed by the failure of Lehman Brothers. We were days away from Morgan Stanley being next, then Goldman Sachs, Citibank, followed by Bank of America. The point is, it will pay to listen to what Jim's predicting right now. Specifically, you need to know what he sees as the coming symptoms of the long COVID decade. So you can be aware of them and prepare for them. Starting with symptom one, the MMT vaccination. It's telling that Janet Yellen was appointed US Treasury Secretary. It's now time to prepare for a merging of the Federal Reserve and the Treasury into a single spending monetization entity to implement modern monetary theory. The theory is not much of a theory because it lacks evidence. And there's nothing modern about it because it has been around for over 100 years. But the need of governments everywhere to spend money in response to the pandemic has put MMT center stage. It will be the key agenda at the Great Reset. You watch. It will be their vaccination for economic long COVID. But as you'll see in the new Great Depression, it's a disaster in the making. A closed system with no escape, as Jim explains. You need to get your head around this because these efforts will influence fiscal and monetary policy in Western nations for years to come. Australia and China were on a collision course before COVID-19 with the banning of Huawei from 5G and tough new foreign interference laws angering Beijing. Then we were the first nation to question China's story on the pandemic, openly demanding investigations and transparency, and our fate was sealed. We should feel proud of Australia's willingness to stand up to China. But, unquestionably, one of the symptoms of the long COVID decade will be an ever-worsening relationship with our biggest trading partner. Which brings us to symptom two, the Australia-China collision course. December 2020 marked the fifth anniversary of the China-Australia free trade deal. The next five years, though, will see that relationship get worse and worse. This will have multiple sub-symptoms for our economy, our national security and your wealth. Jim and Nick pointed out for much of 2020 that Australia faced a choice here between our key security partner in the US and our key economic partner in China. Well, we've chosen, but did we choose wisely? As you know, China's trade war with us has escalated. Australian wine, barley, meat, cotton, timber, coal, seafood, tourism, and plenty more are on the list of trade war victims. Australian businesses, many of which are already struggling, will continue to pay the price this year and beyond. Chinese policies are yet to be fully understood or revealed, so it's tough to model out what happens in the next few years. Tough, not impossible. But moralizing and geopolitics aside, how should you reposition your capital for deteriorating relations and an escalating trade war with China? Well, Jim famously predicted the currency wars would morph into the trade wars we're seeing right now. His next forecast, where Australia is concerned, is a vital one. As part of the pre-release of the New Great Depression, we sat down with Jim for a fascinating Zoom conversation on this topic. We'll send you this recording along with the book. You'll learn why Jim believes China sees Australia as a strategic threat, why the Biden administration will only make trade relations between us worse, and the investable trends coming out of this changing relationship. The point is, no one is telling you what long financial COVID means for Australia and the world and what you should do. That is why you need to read The New Great Depression, Winners and Losers in a Post-Pandemic World ASAP. You can get your hands on it right now by clicking the link below this video. The financial news is telling you jobs, investment and business will revive now the vaccines are here. Regular news is predicting a spectacular rebound 
sending shoppers into a frenzy and sending corporate profits back to their record highs. The banks are telling you to expect a sharp V-shaped recovery. The prestigious business schools are telling you this recovery is already faster and stronger than predicted. And the stock markets? Well, as you know, they're priced for perfection. Investment houses like Morgan Stanley are telling you, predictably, to buy more stocks. Wherever the markets are now, they insist they'll be higher one year from now. Jim Rickards and his Australian team are telling you something very different. For instance, Jim would stake his house on Symptom 3, a historic flight to gold in the long COVID decade. Jim believes gold is going to be the investment to own in the years ahead. His arguments are laid out extensively in the book. But for Australian gold investors, the gold price is only half the equation. The exchange rate is the other half. You see, our currency is what's known as a risk on bet. We do well in the world economy's good times and our currency goes up in value. We do badly during poor times and our currency falls fast. This currency instability, combined with Australia's legal and political stability, means Australian investors are best placed globally to benefit from owning gold. Why? Because gold is priced in US dollars. The Aussie gold price is the US dollar gold price converted to the exchange rate to Aussie dollars. In other words, the exchange rate is half the equation determining the price of gold in Australia. Now this creates a uniquely beneficial position for Aussie investors. Nick explains everything and how to position yourself now in the bonus chapter of the new Great Depression. As you'll see when you make your way through the book, the adverse effects, the symptoms, are going to be intergenerational. Stock markets everywhere have priced in a recovery that simply isn't going to happen. If you're a savvy investor, you should be buying gold now while it remains cheap. You'll also read about one of the greatest blunders in history, Jim's personal trip to Wuhan, how to earn more annual percentage points than the market in the uncertain years ahead, why global social disorder is here for the long haul, one ravaged sector that could soon be the buy of the century, why a set and forget investment strategy will not work for the rest of this decade, nine nimble and liquid markets it will pay to have exposure to, Jim's new prediction, the gold price by 2026, and much more. Now that is just a fraction of what you'll learn when you read the new Great Depression, winners and losers in a post-pandemic world. Put simply, you need this book and the ongoing intelligence from Jim and his team. So, how do you get it? Well, we've managed to secure with Penguin, the publisher of Jim's book, Australian rights to a special ebook edition you can download and read at your leisure. This took some doing, but we've managed it for a limited time and with a limited number of downloadable copies. And you can claim your exclusive download code by clicking the link beneath this screen. It will take you to a secure order page. All I ask in return is that you take a subscription with a no obligation 30 day trial period to our newsletter, Jim Rickard's Strategic Intelligence Australia. This is a try before you fully commit subscription deal. We don't want you locked into anything before you've had time to, one, read the book cover to cover, and two, review the entire Strategic Intelligence Australia archive and live investment recommendation portfolio. You'll have 30 days to do that. Then, if you don't wish to stay with us, Simply let us know and we will cancel your subscription for a full refund. Whatever you decide, you keep your personal ebook copy of the new Great Depression with our compliments. Now, the official subscription price of Jim Rickard's Strategic Intelligence Australia is just $149 per year. Given everything I've shown you about Jim, the contacts he has, his record for forecasting events, and access to his Australian investment director's portfolio of stock market recommendations, $149 is a paltry sum to have his ongoing guidance. 
But with the Australian publication of this vital book, we're going to cut that first year price to just $99. That will give you a full 12 months of Jim Rickard's Strategic Intelligence Australia and access to the new Great Depression winners and losers in a post-pandemic world. While you think about that, let me quickly cover symptom fraud and how emergent property wealth opportunities will abound out of it. Because yes, there will be opportunities too. As you'll see when you dig into the book, complexity theory is a big part of Jim's forecasting. His first rule is that important developments seem to come from nowhere. The technical term for this is an emergent property. It refers to an event that cannot be inferred from complete knowledge of all the elements in a system. Jim gives the example of a good bowl of chili. You can have a list of ingredients, including tomatoes, beans, beef mince, capsicum, and all the other spices. None of that will allow you to infer the aroma and great taste of chili. You must mix the ingredients, cook them, let them marinate for a while. Only then can you experience the emergent property, the real flavor of chili. Now, emergent properties can be good or bad, Many will present themselves in the coming decade. They'll come from the mixing of two complex systems. The first system is the pandemic, the fourth worst in terms of fatalities in the past 650 years since the Black Death. The second is the new Great Depression Jim describes at length. This is the result of the pandemic itself to a small extent, but mostly our response to it. We've talked about many negative things that are on the horizon as a result. But there will be wealth building opportunities that arise from all this too. We'll delve into the specific opportunities in Jim Rickard's Strategic Intelligence Australia. But that's not all. There's one more essential add-on you'll receive if you decide to claim your copy of the book and take up a subscription to Jim's monthly advisory with a 30-day trial period right now. The exclusive bonus chapter, Long COVID Decade Australia, what comes next, how to prepare. What is a true warts and all prognosis for the future of our economy in the wake of forced lockdowns, record rescue packages and China trade wars? As you'll see in the bonus chapter, Nick Hubble first recommends steering clear of Chinese stocks and stocks with too much exposure to China. But I want to make one thing clear, this does not include diversified resource stocks. Commodities are a global marketplace, and Nick doesn't expect the large producers to take a significant hit from China's attempted boycott. Indeed, coal and iron ore prices surge despite China's disruption. So, which stocks should you target instead? Which stocks stand to benefit from China's belligerence to Australia and Southeast Asia in the coming years? Nick names several in his concluding chapter of the book. Finally, he identifies a contrarian speculative play for you. It's more than just buy the dip. But if Nick's right and you catch this rebound before the masses, it's unlikely you will make a better investment for the coming years. He's identified a way for you to bundle invest on this trend with a US listed ETF. It's a significant buy opportunity in his opinion and the time to consider this move is now. Point is, the advice you'll get in the new Great Depression, winners and losers in a post-pandemic world is urgent. And all the strategies are designed to be implemented while most people are still confused and trying to figure out what the long COVID decade might look like. The book will give you some immediate answers and an edge. If you click on the link below, you can gain access to this ebook you'll get the exclusive bonus chapter, Long COVID Decade Australia, What Comes Next, How to Prepare. You'll get 12 monthly issues of Jim Rickard's Strategic Intelligence Australia, as well as detailed weekly email bulletins, all for the discounted price of $99, which you can request to be refunded in full within the first 30 days if you so desire. All you need to do is click on the link below this video and fill out your details on the secure order page that follows. It will open in a new window. When you do, 
you'll be that much better prepared to deal with the economic and financial fallout with Jim's new book and Strategic Intelligence Australia as your guide. With our guarantee that you can read and keep the book, scour the archive for every current recommendation and still receive a refund of the $99 subscription price within the first 30 days if you're so inclined, this should be an easy decision. Arm yourself with the right knowledge. Click on the link below to get started. Thanks for listening.